Hi. <laughs> okay, so get um <clears throat> comfortable. Okay, so how I got started in photography. So let's take it way, way back. When I was about five or six years old, I swore like I was going to be a fashion designer. Like that was my goal. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to design clothes and I'm going to have fashion shows and I'm just, my brand is going to be it. And I remember um, when I was little, I would have these little coloring books and they already had um, women in like different gowns, but they were fashion sketches. And I would draw them in with my little crayons and I was just so inspired, like, yes, this is going to be my life. <laughs> and then when I turned about nine or ten, I was like, you know what? I don't think this is going to work for me. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to sew. Um, I don't know anything about the fashion industry. Um, I mean, I love style. I love fashion. But do I really want to be the one making the clothes? And so that dream, like, kind of sailed off. Aww. And then when I got into, like, junior high, high school, I swore I was going to be a singer. I wanted to sing. I love to sing. I sang on the worship team at church. Um... For those of you who go way, way back with me, um, you know that I used to sing in a rap group with my mom. And I would sing and she would rap. Yes, my mom is cooler than yours. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and um, I thought that was going to be my life. Like, yes, I'm going to be a singer. And then I realized it's really hard. <laughs> like, am I really going to make it as a singer? Am I? Is my voice really that good? And then... That dream, uh, slowly but surely, sailed off. <laughs> and then when I turned 17, 18, I moved out to the San Francisco Bay Area, uh, the East Bay to be specific. And um, the church I was going to out there had like a photo team. And I remember slowly but surely, like kind of getting into it, asking questions. Um, they would even let me borrow the church camera. Um, to go off and like shoot and I remember at first I was shooting everything from like <laughs> nature a pen anything on the ground that I could zoom in on um, I shot a lot of trees and leaves and um, bushes and just you know those weird stuff you shoot when you first start shooting and um, it just became very therapeutic to me because at the time, I was so depressed and sad and um, having suicidal thoughts, if I could be real, uh, because of everything that was going on with my family at the time. And so anytime I picked up that camera, it was like I was in another place. Like, no one could tell me nothing. Like, it was just the most, like, relaxed feeling. Like, I wasn't thinking about my problems, you know? And so, um, from there, well, rewind, um, the camera I, I had started shooting with was the Canon T2i, uh, with the kit lenses. And, um, I, yeah, I just, I fell in love. Um, I remember as I started to take pictures more and they would ask me, um, I eventually got around to start shooting people. Which was super nerve-wracking at first because, like, I had never shot people before. And prior to even using a digital camera, I had always um, took pictures on my iPhone. Which, don't get me wrong, like, even right now, if you don't have a digital camera, you can totally get away with shooting on your iPhone. Like, I cannot tell you how much Apple has stepped up their game. If you have an iPhone, you know what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, so like I said, I started shooting people and my roommates, to be specific, um, I would be like, I really like your style or I really like how you look today. Can we go take pictures? Like, and they would totally let me and it was cool. And, um, from there I just kept going and I, and I never stopped. Um, so since that time, it's been about, how long has it been? I want to say like 
six or seven years now. Um, but then when I came back from the Bay Area back to Southern California, I did not have a camera. I only had my phone. So, um, and then I had a friend who would let me borrow her camera every now and then when I'd get like the, just the absolute urge to shoot. So then, um, my parents, <laughs> they seen how desperate I was, so to speak, and they collaborated, I guess you could say that, they got together, and they bought me a camera, which is the camera I'm actually shooting this video on now. It is the Nikon D7200. It has been such a blessing to me. Um, I would say this is the equivalent of like a Canon 70D or 80D um, as far as like the specs and everything. Um, camera nerds don't don't stone me if I'm wrong. But um, to me, it, it's the equivalent. Um, so yeah, once I got the camera, I just kind of took off from there. I just began shooting and shooting. Um, I would get different people from church, uh, friends, whatever you, whatever you name it. I was shooting it. <laughs> and then um, it wasn't until last, no, I'm lying, 2017, like the end of 2017, I started to really, um, excuse me, I burped, <laughs> take um, my photography seriously. And so I opened up my website. I started to promote myself and um, book clients, um, whether that be portrait sessions, um, weddings, um, family sessions, what have you. And um, ever since then, like that, when I took that leap of faith, um, it just took off from there. Now, even though I've been shooting for six or seven years, it definitely does not seem like it. Like, I can, I can only know like I've grown or what have you. When I look back at my first photos, I'm just like, man, I've really grown. But um, it 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 just it seems like. I'm barely getting started again, but I love that feeling because I never, I never want to feel like I've made it with anything. You know, I always want to keep learning, whether it's photography, being a mom, um, in relationships, about God, like I never, ever want to stop learning. And um, I remember just getting that mindset when I first started shooting, like, man, I don't... I don't ever want to feel like I've made it in photography like I want to keep striving keep going you know there are so many cameras out there so many um, editing programs out there um, just so many lenses just so many different things and I feel like within this craft or whatever your craft is you shouldn't stop learning about it you know always stay curious always stay on your toes never think that you know it all and I find that that keeps you hungry, you know, it keeps you, um, wanting more in a sense. So, um, yeah, so I've been shooting since then and, um, there's still some things I need to practice and work on and get better at. I still am not where I want to be creatively, but one thing I know is that if you keep going, keep practicing and you don't give up, you will eventually get to where you want to be. And so, um, yeah, that's pretty much how I started. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, I will say too, as you progress and practice and practice and practice, your editing will get better too. When I first started, my editing sucked. <laughs> everything was like always super orange or super green um it was just awful <laughs> people's skin tones were like super orange or super white um it was it was a mess and um even now I think my editing has gotten way better but um I know I can still get even better you get me and so um I keep saying that and so um <laughs> so yeah it it's it's a process, you know, but it's a process I'm thoroughly enjoying. And now that I'm a mom, like, I 
feel like I've fallen in love with photography all over again because of my son. I love taking photos of him. And he's going to have a photographer for like the rest of his life. <laughs> you know? So, it's, it's cool. Um, the website that, um, or... I should say the company I use is Squarespace. Um, I looked into several different like um, companies, websites out there that people use, and Squarespace just really stuck out to me. Um, it's super easy. They have so many templates to choose from, and you can customize it however you want. Um, I do pay a monthly fee um, for the business account. And I also pay a one-time yearly fee to keep my domain, um, which is DanielleCelestePhoto.com. So instead of, like, sometimes when you sign up for these websites, it'll say, like, let's just say your business name, so DanielleCelestePhoto at Squarespace.com. But I didn't want it to say that. I wanted it to just be my name. So that is why I paid for the domain. So yeah, DanielleCelestePhoto.com. I will link my um, website below if you want to check it out um, and see what I got on there. <laughs> it's kind of like a blog slash um, business website. I have a lot of my work on there, but I also share personal stuff on there, um, whether it be like about something I'm going through, a photo shoot I did with Bay or with my son, um, just different things. So. Yeah, feel free to check it out. Um, message me if you do check it out. And if you're ever interested in um, shooting with me, holla at me. DM me. Text me if you know my number. <laughs> um, I love shooting with new people. It's like so thrilling. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what else to say. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really want to start putting more photo related videos out there to the public. I don't know everything about photography. I am not an expert, but I do or I have learned a thing or two that I believe I can share with others. And um, yeah, so I gotta stop saying that. Um, <laughs> that's it.